Merlin Street. I am remembered still. Just as well I had forgotten myself that I was Merlin once. You see, long ago, thousands of years ago, before these islands were taken or settled, they were known as Class Merlin, Merlin's Precinct, my sacred enclosure. You see, I was the high priest of these islands then. I was the mind behind the making of Stonehenge. Mine was the body that was laid to rest in the great tomb. I walked the giddy path down through the generations, steering away between madness and genius. I learned the way of the fox, cunning and stealthy, here one moment, gone the next. I rode on the back of the bee through the invisible roadways of the air, gathering sweetness to make mead, inflicting pain with my sting. My eyes were sharp like the eyes of a young hawk. I am aeons old, and yet as young as this morning's drop of dew. It was I who brought the rise of the boar of Cornwall, who was none other than Arthur himself. Using my magical arts, a child of destiny was conceived. I was the one who oversaw his education. I mentored his rise into kingship. I set up the supreme test that only he could draw the sword from the stone and therefore rightfully be king of these lands. I made the round table for the young king. I even sent the knights out on their quest for the Holy Grail. But some would say the greatest thing I ever did was when I was just a lad. And I uttered a prophecy in the fort of fiery higher powers, a prophecy that echoes still to this day. I predicted then the rise of Arthur, but I also predicted what would happen in these times, your times, now. I could see that the soil would become fruitful beyond man's need, that food and drink would be plentiful at the tap of a card, that the wealth of the land would be concentrated in the city of London, that the connections to the continent of Europe would be closer. I also knew that human knowledge would stretch from the tiniest atom to the edge of the cosmos. I predicted the London underground and the coming of the mobile phone. But I knew too, I knew that things would turn bad because complacency is like a fool. I knew that the trees would be confused by genetic modification. I knew that the oceans would rise and the fish would die. I knew that things that should be good would cause nothing but harm. And yet, I also knew this. I also prophesied this and I prophesy it now. Root and branch will change places and the newness of the thing shall seem a miracle. Though the goddess be forgotten, she will return in the form of the healing maiden, her footsteps bursting into flame. She will weep tears of compassion for the people of the land, dry up polluted rivers with her breath, carry the city in her right hand, the forest in her left, and nourish the creatures of the deep. With her blessing, we, 
will become divine. Waking as if from a dream. Heart open, filled with light. Radiant face glowing like the rising sun. Shining eyes like twin silver moons. Radiant ears shimmering with song. Shining lips that dance over words. Words of magic that burst into the air becoming swallows. The soul shall walk out, the mind of fire shall burn, and in the twinkling of an eye, the dust of the ancients will be restored! <laughs> Thank you, Merlin. Uh, now, horses at the ready. Okay, let's go and see, because I think just down there, standing over there, that's King Arthur himself, everyone. Let's go.